This video will show you how to use Vocaline Project in Logic Pro X. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that the plugin has been verified and has been enabled for use. To do this, in the Preferences section, choose the Plugin Manager. And in the dialog box that opens, select Synchro Arts and make sure that the plugin has been verified successfully here. And that the Use box here has been ticked. If Vocaline Project has not been validated, Simply select it and press the reset and rescan button. To start with, we have an example of two bits of dialog. As you can see from the waveforms, the signals are not in sync with each other. So let's listen to the guide signal. Vocaline lets you lip sync and tighten the same or different voices in unreal time. And now let's listen to the dub signal on its own. Vocaline lets you lip sync and tighten in the same or different voices in unreal time. <laughs> and now let's listen to them both together. Vocaline lets you lip sync and tighten in the same or different voices in unreal time. <laughs> to use Vocaline to align these two signals, we need to add Vocaline as an insert on the dub's track. As the dub is on track audio 2, we select track audio 2. And in the Audio Effects section menu, go to Audio Units, Synchro Arts, Vocaline Project, AU. And because this is a mono signal, we choose Mono. The next thing we need to do is to route the sidechain. And we route the sidechain to the guide signal. You can see in this case, the guide signal's track is Audio 1. So in the drop down menu for the sidechain, we select Audio 1. And next we need to capture the audio into the plugin. To do this, we move the playhead to about a quarter of a second to half a second before the audio starts. Hit the capture button and then play to the end of both bits of audio. Vocaline lets you lip sync and tighten in the same or different voices in unreal time. <laughs> Once you have captured the audio, Vocaline will show the guide signal in blue and the dub signal in orange. And to align the signals, we simply push the edit button. Vocaline will then show you the energy of the guide signal in blue and the energy of the dub signal in orange. The yellow trace over the guide signal shows you how it has matched the peaks and the troughs in the dub energy to the peaks and the troughs in the guide energy. And just from looking at it, you can get a good idea of how well the alignment has worked and in this case it looks just fine. You'll also notice that the loudspeaker indicator will go green when there is an aligned signal to play. And if it's green, it will play back the aligned signal in Logic. So let's listen to the output. Vocaline lets you lip sync and tighten in the same or different voices in unreal time. <laughs> now most of the signal has aligned and sounds fine, but the laugh at the end has been compressed and sounds rather unnatural. And that's because we've recorded an extra bit of silence at the end of the guide. Now to compensate for that bit of silence, we need to move the rightmost blue marker so that it's about a quarter to half a second after the guide signal finishes. We now need to realign the signals, as you will see the loudspeaker has turned red. So we hit edit and the loudspeaker has turned green, so that means we can now listen to the aligned signal again. Vocaline lets you lip sync and tighten in the same or different voices in unreal time. <laughs> and in this case now, the dub signal's laugh sounds much better. Another common problem is when you have too much silence at the start of either signal. So to demonstrate that, I'll repeat the process again. So I'll delete what I've just done. Move the playhead well before the audio starts and hit the capture button and play to the end of both signals. Vocaline lets you lip sync and tighten in the same or different voices in unreal time. <laughs> Again, you can see that both signals have been captured, but this time there's a few seconds of silence at the beginning of both signals. So as before, we hit the edit button to align the two signals, but this time Vocaline will complain that it isn't happy about the silence at the beginning of the guide signal. To compensate for this, we move the leftmost blue slider so it is about a quarter of a second to half a second before the guide signal starts. And also move the orange slider to about half a second to a quarter of a second before the dub signal starts. And as before, we have to compensate for the silence at the end of the guide. Once we have done that, we hit the edit button 
and we can listen back to the aligned audio. Vocaline lets you lip sync and tighten in the same or different voices in unreal time. <laughs> it is possible while you are playing to toggle between the aligned version and the non-aligned version of the dub. To do this, just click the on off button. Vocaline lets you lip sync and tighten, and tighten, the tighten in the same voices in unreal time. Real time. <laughs> As a second example, we have three bits of audio, a main vocal and two harmonies. Vocalize, perfect lip syncing, without it be sounding like three sheep. <laughs> so the first thing that we need to do is to align the first harmony with the guide. To align these signals, we follow much the same procedure as before. Since the guide and the harmony are on the same tracks as we used before, we can also use the same plugin. So as before, we place the playhead just before the audio starts, hit the capture audio button, switch on, and hit play. Vocalize, perfect lip syncing, without it with this sounding like three sheep. <laughs> and again, you can see it's captured the audio just as before. Now we hit the edit button to perform the alignment. Again, you can see from the yellow trace that the peaks and the troughs are fairly well matched. So let's listen to the output to make sure. Vocalize, perfect lip syncing. Without it, we'd be sounding like three sheep. <laughs> so that's the first harmony aligned. Now the third harmony is on a separate track from the other dubs. So we need to insert another instance of Vocaline project to align this harmony. So as before, we select audio track three, where the second harmony is. Then go to Audio Effects, Audio Units, Synchro Arts, Vocaline Project AU, and choose Mono. Set the sidechain to take the guide from Audio 1. Place the playhead just before the audio starts. Make sure that the tracks are enabled to play. Hit the capture button and play to the end of both signals. And as before, we hit the edit button. As you can see, we get the usual energy traces, but you'll notice that this time it hasn't managed to align the peaks of the dub signal to the peaks in the guide signal, and you will see that it's been displaced slightly. So if we listen to the result, it will sound slightly out of alignment. In situations like this, it's a good idea to try different flexibility settings. In this instance, let's set it to low flexibility. So once this has been changed, you will need to realign the signal by hitting the edit button. And if you inspect the yellow trace, you'll see the peaks are far more aligned. So let's listen to the output signal. Vocalize, perfect lip syncing, without it we'd be sounding like three sheep. <laughs> and this time it sounds much better. So now let's listen to all three output signals together. Vocalize, perfect lip syncing, without it we'd be sounding like three sheep. 